Hey there, welcome to Deep Coding. And uh, now in this video, we are going to look at how to install Lua Socket libraries on our Termex machine. So I never thought that this would work in Termex, but eventually it worked. And uh, I was behind this thing from the last two days, and I finally figured out a way to install this. So this is the first video on YouTube, and I think there is no blogs or any videos related to this so this would be the first one and appreciate this video if you found this helpful and uh, yeah once again welcome to deep coding and now let's install the lua socket library so i have a beautiful small transcript here so which would help us to install things very faster and which will tell us a basic idea of what we are going to do in this video so first of all we are going to install the CLI which is very essential if we are going to install the Lua rocks yeah it is needed so we are going to install the CLI and then secondly we need to install the Lua that's needed uh, by going to package install Lua and we are going to demonstrate all these things and we need a Lua library Lua dash dev uh, that's the development uh, module from the Lua and we need to install the Lua rocks which is essential for installing the Lua sockets so we need these four things and if you if you installed these four things we are ready to move them then I hope you under, uh, uh, I hope you guys are aware about this Lua sockets unless you want to search this video or you, are, you won't come to in front of this video I know I'm sure about that so now let's jump into the procedure all right so I have my beautiful terminal here let me just put this uh, here okay all right so now let's start uh, first of all let's run the command package install ceiling that's our first thing okay we are going to install ceiling and if you already installed it uh, try for upgrading uh, try upgrading the ceiling and uh, it is recommended to keep things very latest okay now the package is now installed let me put this on the notification board okay there you go perfect now 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 we installed the C line that was very fast I know so we installed the C line so from this front transcript as you can see now we are going to show the Lua of course so package install Lua just this so we are, are going to install the Lua package and if you already installed it, please try upgrading this. Ok now we set, we installed the Lua and now we are going to install the Lua library. So run this command, library, sorry, package, oops, package, install library live lua dash dev this will install the lua libraries for the development and uh, I already installed all these things and uh, so it won't take much time and uh, finally we are going to install the Lua rocks that's our last procedure so the transcript is here over so here we are going to install the Lua rocks by going to package install Lua rocks okay there you go so we are installing the Lua rocks and the Lua rocks is needed because if you need to install a uh, uh, Lua socket libraries or whatever it is installed by using Lua rocks, so it is very much needed. If you already have it, try upgrading it. So now we are all set to install Lua socket libraries. 
so we are going to use Lua's, Lua rocks and run this command Lua rocks install Lua socket it's a simple command and just run it alright so just hit enter and this will take some time okay this uh, depend on the network and depend on the storage depend on the size everything so it depends okay it's a dependent uh, so let's wait while this is installing and uh, as I told you I was behind this thing from the last two days and uh, it was like yeah uh, from the beginning I thought this won't work I mean it was very complex I was getting many errors uh, a mime.io errors and then uh, a lua.h header file not found error and uh, everything was, uh, was there and uh, from a lot of uh, you know some pretty cool guys out there who write blogs about this everything and you guys who keep participating in the github repository thanks for them so that helped me a lot for solving this issue and uh, now the lua rocks is installed in socket libraries it's a powerful package as you know so then after that uh, I have a simple program uh, compiled and not compiled is uh, compiled by another person I just download a clone from the github so in this example I'm going to run that program for checking whether this Lua socket is working or not so if you if you skipped the installation of uh, the ceiling then this process won't complete so ceiling is very essential here so we are all set as you can see at the bottom the Lua socket libraries are now installed 3.0 now let's uh, we are all set now so I have a simple code in my uh, code directory which is my working directory so now nano listener dot lua listener it's a, it's a simple program not by me not written by me it's a guy called uh, there you go Daigo Nehab. I don't know how to pronounce it thanks buddy so this will this code will keep listening on port 8080 for incoming and outgoing request, I think. Uh, yeah, of course. So, uh, as you can see, it, it, it is using a Lua socket. So, it's clear from here. So, now let's run in the code nano, sorry, Lua. Uh, okay, Lua. Listener dot Lua. And boom there you go the code is running very smooth it's there isn't any error and uh, it's running smooth that's it Woo! installed you 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 said uh, we are all set to code uh, using the lua socket libraries on termix it's wonderful i can't even imagine this okay i'm really interested okay so Right away, I created this video, and I hope this would help you guys. So, if you have, if you're getting any errors while installing this, you can comment below. I will try to solve out. And uh, yeah, for run exiting this program, let's uh, do Control X here. Uh, let not solve this. Okay, control X. Oh, sorry, it was control C. Uh, it's kidding this. <laughs> yeah, uh, control C. And upper uppercase C, that's it. You know better than me. So, this is it, guys. This is how to install Lua Socket Libraries on Android and I mean in Termix. So, this is the first video on YouTube, and you can't find this on either on Google. The direct installation process, there is no tutorials regarding that. So, this is the first video on YouTube. And uh, yeah, if you if you impressed, then you can write a blog for helping people out there.
they can follow that good I have no problem regarding that so and once again thanks for everything guys who have uh, developed this thing um, you know uh, working behind uh, the github directories they are working really hard for our happiness so I really like to thank them guys you are very awesome so I know many guys out there uh, helping for the development of Termax and for the Lua uh, really appreciate those works you can check the github for for have a look at their hard work and how hard they are working behind this so we have to be really thankful for thanks for you know for their work we are just uh, you know we don't know behind the scenes that's what I said so that's it guys thanks for watching this video and once again welcome I mean if you're new to this channel new to the new to deep coding you can subscribe to this channel and uh, we can meet on the next video stay safe